the past few days and about the origin of the blue sister flag in our own term. Okay, so before I start off, uh, let me ask a question. <coughs> what colour does the blue sister flag have? Any, anyone? Other than my own group? Come on, come on. What colour? What colour? Cannot hear? I cannot hear what colour? Ah, blue and white, very good. Okay, uh. so the blue sister flag are blue and white, right? So to us, all of us are like shit now. Uh. We are the ship itself, from different harbors. So all of us will embark on a journey on the blue flag, right? It's how, how to say, okay, wait, let me describe the flag first. No. Okay, I'm having some of the mic, So the blue part of the flag symbolizes the sea, and the white part of the flag <laughs> symbolizes the island, okay, the island of Sava. So all of us come from different parts of the world. Okay, I mean Singapore. Most of us don't know each other before the trip. And so we are like strangers to each other. And we come on this journey together as one. So we sail, 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 sail. Sail until the Sabah. <laughs> so over here in the island of Sabah, I mean, is it island of Sabah? Okay. We yeah, did many things together, uh, like sailing again <laughs> and jungle expedition. So, although the island, the white part of the flag may be small, uh, it really symbolizes a lot of the all that we have been through. Uh, it can be drawn just a, a small circle. I mean, square, rectangle. <laughs> Ali, come. Ali, Ali. Ali, You talk about the stainless Right, basically, for sealing expedition, it tests both your mentally and physical well being. So, as a, to us, as a leader, right, we need to also understand the follower, right? As mentioned by uh, people like the instructors, we need to follow the leader, or the follower, follow the leader. Okay, leader and follower need to learn and also understand each other well being. Alright, for the sail expedition for my home team, it have been a rough day for us. Not a rough night, a rough day. Okay, rough day for us. Rough night, we keep rowing and rowing. Alright, we fight the uh, breaking waves. We try to uh, get off of the hazards, uh, breaking reef, example the shores. Yeah, we we managed to reach at the point of the Dinawan beach at around four plus. Four plus right, it's late. Huh? We set off at eight, right? Ten, sorry. We set off at ten and we arrive at four. Four plus. Alright? In our in our in our, in our mind, we keep rowing and rowing. Sailing and sailing, and we kill ourselves. Why are we still in the side of the shore? Right? It's moving, but why are we not reaching that on point? So basically, it's the journey that made us the process of us making to the end of the journey, which is our destination, Dinawan Island. So we finally reach our destination, we achieve our goals. Okay? Thank you, Ali. Thank you, so now I want to you to come out. Let's talk about the Jungle Expedition. Okay, uh, for Jungle Expedition, right? Okay, it's a 4-day night, and for our group, is, we are the leaders. So our attraction is much higher compared to the rest of you. Uh. So our track is not as easy as you all think it might be. Uh. The, first, uh, the last day of the tracking, uh, it's all the way slow. Okay, the slow uh, is like about we time the slope for two hours straight. Then uh, like halfway along the way, we intend to give up. Then uh, one of them, uh, uh, one of our group mates, halfway give up. Then we encourage him to like, oh, don't give up, don't give up. We can do it. If if you think you are tired, the person beside you are more tired than you. We tell ourselves that 
if that person can do it, so can I. We then encourage our uh, instructor, both of them, our teacher and all our group mates, we managed to complete it. The journey, we took around four, eh, five and a half hours. Thank you, Mahi. So, before I end all this, I will have one thought of the day for everyone. That is, the blue Peter flag symbolizes stepping out of your comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone in Singapore to come to an unknown island, okay, not unknown, to a far away place in Sabah, where we experience things that we won't get to experience in Singapore. And by stepping out of your own comfort zone, you will then learn. Because if you remain in your own comfort zone, you will never achieve what you want to achieve. Uh, thank you.